Hi, uh, welcome to the GG Retrofits Yamaha YZF R3 and R25 uh, disassembly. So basically this is pretty easy. You can take off all the body work with just a handful of tools. So we're gonna use the ignition key to release the passenger seat. It's pretty self-explanatory. Then there's two bolts we need to take off to remove this uh, seat cover. And you could use your Allen key for that. And once you remove the bolts, you're just going to slightly lift it upwards and don't use too much force because you don't want to break any kind of tabs on this. And once you lift that up, you're going to use your socket wrench to loosen the, there's two bolts holding the rider's seat in place. Once you remove these two bolts, basically you just lift the seat up and or back and up and lift it off. Then you could use your Allen key here. We're going to take off this kind of side cover, uh, frame cover. So there's two bolts. And basically there's a grommet in the middle that holds this in place once you take the two bolts off. So you wanna just pull it straight out. Now we're gonna take off uh, this kinda inner console, uh, black plastic piece. So there's a couple of Allen head bolts that we're gonna remove here. So once you remove those two bolts with the Allen, you're gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver. There's a couple fasteners right here that we need to take out. And basically with the fasteners, you can do like a half turn and you'll notice the head pop out and basically you can just pull the whole fastener out. Yeah, you kind of have to fish your hands in between there. There's not too much space, so you'll figure out how to get your hands in there. And there's another fastener here on the outside you need to take off. So basically this part, you want to pull it back and up. So it's kind of interlocked to the fairing with a few tabs. So don't put too much force on it or you'll break the tabs off. Just nice and finesse. So now we're gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver to take off, there's a fastener on the bottom cowl and also this kind of inner uh, plastic part that connects both cowls together. We're gonna remove that piece. Should be a total of five bolts. So once we removed all those screws, you're gonna go ahead and pull this piece out and also use some finesse because it's kind of in between both sides. 
There's also another uh, Phillips fastener on the underside here we're gonna take off. And what we wanna do is disconnect the headlight and flasher plugs here. So you're gonna wanna use your Phillips head screwdriver. There's another screw here you have to take off so you could remove the whole side fairing and also a socket bolt here. So you're going to use your allen key to take off this bolt, then there's another one hidden behind it we'll get to in a minute. And right by your kickstand there's also another allen bolt you're going to take off. Yeah, notice if you lift this off a little bit you'll see a bolt hidden behind it we need to take that bolt off so go ahead and use your socket wrench to take that one off So there's a grommet that holds this whole side fairing in place and this part's a little tricky so you're supposed to kind of push forward and pull up. Uh, this is actually the first time I took it off so it took me a little bit to figure out how to disconnect those tabs. And now we're going to take off the whole rear seat cowling. So there's few bolts on each side. So you can use your Phillips to take this fastener off. Then on the underside, we're gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver to take off three more bolts. So once you've taken all those fasteners off, you should be able to disconnect uh, one side of the rear seat cowl. However, there's still a kind of mechanism with a cable on it for the seat lock. So basically we want to disconnect that. And it comes off fairly easy once you take those bolts off. Now we're going to use our socket wrench to take these two bolts off.
and you should be able to take that whole locking mechanism off. So there's also two bolts on the side of the subframe here we're going to take off. So now we're gonna take the tank cover off. Basically, there's five bolts total. Uh, there's four sockets on the, both sides and one Allen in the very center. So on the socket bolt on the side, You'll notice you can use a Phillips or I believe a 8, 10 millimeter. I would recommend using the 10 millimeter. You might strip that bolt out if you use a Phillips. It's on there pretty tight. The last one is the Allen bolt at the very front center. You might have to turn your bars a little bit to be able to torque it out. And once you take all those bolts off, you should be able to just lift it up and take off your tank cover. So there were also two grommets that hold it in place, so you kind of just want to lift straight up. So now we're going to disconnect the meter. There's two bolts, one on each side. Yeah, if you notice, once I tend to loosen a bolt, I take the socket off. You tend to hit different parts when you're wrenching. <laughs> so once you disconnect those two bolts, you just want to unplug the meter here. So it's fairly simple. There's a big plug coming out the back. You can slightly peel back the boot and you can see where the plug connects and just pinch it and pull it. So we're gonna, we just disconnect the headlight. Now we're gonna take off these two bolts for the fairing stay. These bolts have a lot of thread on them, so it might take some time to screw them all out. So once you take those bolts out, you'll notice the fairing stay has a hook on it. It kind of holds itself in place. So what we want to do now is there's a small kind of zip tie that you could pinch it and disconnect it. And once you do that, the whole front fairing should be able to just lift off. <laughs> 